Okay, so this is actually a really good day for Gundam Seed fans. Uh, as you guys know, this weekend, the Gundam Seed Freedom premiered in Japan. And holy crap, it's been about two days only. Well, technically, I guess three if you're counting in Japan. But Gundam Seed Freedom shatters the box office records with 770 million yen earnings in the opening 48 hours. Holy crap, that is insane. Now, for a Gundam movie, that's really, really good. I mean, I don't remember the last movie that did so well in Gundam, but holy shoot, that is insane. So, according to Gundam Kids Collection, the mobile suit Gundam Seed Freedom anime film has achieved a phenomenal box office debut, earning 770 million yen, roughly about 5.2 million USD, in just two days of the release. The highly anticipated picture, which premiered in Japan last Friday, has already sold over 500,000 tickets and is set for international success, which means there is a huge chance that it will be in the U.S. And that will probably be like maybe like, you know, a few months from now, but hopefully sooner because that is amazing. It's freaking great. And again, like I said, if you're a Gundam Seed fan or just even a Gundam fan in general, this is huge news. This is amazing news. That means there are more movies probably going to come out. And, well, for sure, if, again, like I said, it will be in the U.S. release. And, well, obviously more kids. So that's good. This is very good news. This is awesome. As we keep reading here, according to the most re recent report from Gundam Info, this achievement marks a key milestone in the Gundam franchise. On January 28th, a stage welcome ceremony was conducted in Tokyo, Shinjuku, uh, Piccadilly, to, I don't, I can't pronounce that. <laughs> to commemorate the first films, the film's success, cast members, uh, you know, who were voicing Kira, Lacus, uh, Othron, and Ingrid, and you know Griffin, attended the event. Uh, Takanori Nishikawa and the director Mitsuo Fukuda also spoke, discussing the film's release, highlights, and soundtrack. The ceremony was a joyous affair with smiles and excitement from both the cast and the audience. So that is great. The director of uh, Fukada also praised the strong start to the fans who have continued to support him for 18 years since the transmission of Gundam Seed Destiny. Adding the people who have been waiting are smiling and I made it with I made it with that in mind. Which is amazing. I love the director and I love he had that mindset going in and just uh, thinking about us fans. So that is great. Uh, amazing, amazing, amazing. Uh, when asked about how he feels that the film has finally been released, Hoshi says that while he was concerned about the possibilities of spoilers, he felt that his anxiety about the film's release and have been elevated and that it have been well received by the comments and various social media platforms saying that I am overwhelmed with emotion and I didn't make it, but I'm proud. He explained, director, uh, explained, Director Fukuda stated that this film was made possible by the hard work for the youthful staff who are fans of the Seed series and it demonstrates that the team and cast collaborate to produce a quality product. So this is an important line because it's not just anyone who just, you know, made this movie. These were people who really loved the franchise and really took the time and really made it the best. And just like the cast, the cast were very passionate, which we're still figuring out why they recast the Kagage. We're still trying to figure that out. Um, but the cast was very enthusiastic about the project. They were happy, and they really put a lot of work into it. And that is amazing. And I'm all for it. And from what I've seen from the spoilers, yeah, this is good. And the spoilers <laughs> did not disappoint. And honestly, even if I did get spoiled, I'm still going to watch the movie. Like, either way, I'm going to watch the movie. Because not only that I'm supporting, but at the same time, I'm still excited for it. I want to see it in theaters and what that is like. So, I'm all for it. So, uh, Sochiri Hoshi stated, This work is packed with 18 years of love for Seed and for the characters and every who has one who has been waiting for it. I agree. I 100% agree because when I watched the, the just the spoilers, it felt like fan service. And anyone who is a fan, you know, who's a weeb, fan service is the best. And I was all for it. Even some of the scenes were cheesy. But I was all for it, and I loved it, and 
it was great. And I, again, I seriously can't wait to watch this movie. Uh, this is just going to be great. And, and again, I'm pretty positive now at this point that it's going to get a U.S. release. That has to be. As the mobile suit uh, Gundam Seed Freedom continues in theaters, it is poised uh, to become a landmark entry in the Gundam franchise, attracting fans around the world with its intriguing tale, breathtaking animation, and distinctive music. And I saw the animation. It's really good. This is really good. Um, the excellent performance of the mobile suit Gundam Freed, Freed, uh, Seed Freedom demonstrates the Gundam series' long-term popularity and cultural significance. Fans have expressed overwhelming support for the franchise's most recent installment, demonstrating a strong, ongoing interest in the series' distinct blend of mecha action, profound storytelling, and intricate character development. The film's popularity uh, demonstrates the Gundam's franchise history and capacity to grow and connect with new generations of fans while maintaining its core following. I agree. I definitely agree. Uh, like I said, Gundam C was a huge part of a lot of people's lives. It was basically Gundam Wing for a lot of people. Like they just, it's it's a series they all loved, they adored. Um, it was one of the few series after, you know, after Gundam Wing and some of the UC stuff that came to the US, and everyone was a huge fan. This was like what two thousand three, I believe. So it was it was definitely something in our childhood. So this is great. Um, as it continues its theatrical run, it is likely to draw even more spectators, both longtime fans and newbies alike. Promised to be a wash watershed moment in Gundam Universe's illustrious history. And that's crazy because I went on TikTok the other day, and there are people who are just into anime. They talked about Gundam Seed, Freedom. And these are people who just don't even know about Gunpla, Gundam or in general. So this is big. The film's successful opening also beats the previous record uh, established by Mobu Su Gundam Hathaway. Well, we all knew that that was going to happen. Gundam Hathaway is something like it's special, but... Come on, this is C, guys. I mean, it's like, if Gundam Wing ever did a new movie, I'm sure that one would do better than C. Because, you know, Gundam Wing is just very special for everyone. So, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. So, which in June 2021 sold about 259,074 tickets and grossed over um, 522,000, a million, 90, uh, yeah, I can't read that number, I'm brain farted, uh, which is around 4.77 million, which is still pretty good, for sure. In its initial three-day run, notably, Hathaway ranked third in ticket sales during its opening weekend, becoming the first Gundam film since the classic 1988 movie, Mobusu Gundam Shards Contract, to exceed the 1 billion yen mark, uh, eventually grossing over 2.2 billion yen, which is great. So these are both really cool. And again, like I said, this is exciting for everyone. So again, if you are a huge Gundam fan, you should be proud. We should all be proud. And yeah, anyways, I just wanted to mention this video. This is exciting stuff, and this makes me really happy that as a gun long term Gundam fan, this was totally worth it. It was worth the wait. Again, we're still waiting on, you know, the new uh, release for US. So we'll be ready for it. And I don't know, who knows? I might even watch it once or twice. Uh, I might like it that much. Who knows? Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Uh, what are you guys' thoughts? Are you guys really proud of yourselves and excited? And hopefully, you wanted to come to the US? Let's make it happen, guys. Peace. Hey, I was watching that.